Welcome to whiskey.com. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning, and I'm the master taster of whiskey.com. Today we have a look at the Balvini Caribbean cask, 14 years old, 43 ABV. Well, there was a predecessor bottle of this one. It was called Cuban Rum Selection, I think was its name. Also 43%, uh, a one liter bottle, uh, published in the Travel Values chains. Um, this whiskey was unfortunately not delivered into the, into the United States of America. There's the Cuban embargo still uh, in force. Uh, we remember the Russians uh, placed their rockets with the atomic bombs on it on Cuba in 61, 62 and from that time on uh, America, North America, the US said we have an embargo against Cuba and nothing from Cuba, no Havana, cigars and no rum uh, is imported into the US. So Bacardi, which was a native company to Cuba, had to move Today, uh, Bacardi is not no longer producing in Cuba. Uh, well, I think uh, the government took over in Cuba. I don't know, 57, 57. Um, so, uh, to <laughs> develop the American market as well as the rest of the world, uh, Balvini published the Caribbean cask bottle, or this Caribbean cask bottle, uh, a year or two later uh, and now this bottle is available I think all around the world including in the US. Um, <clears throat> uh, this is uh, a whiskey matured in ex-bourbon casks and then filled into fresh rum casks and the master distiller David Stewart filled the casks before with his own blend of rums. So he decided which rums uh, shall mature in those casks for how long and uh, the Balvini distillery as well as the Glenfiddich distillery, they are close to each other, belong to the William Grant and Son company which is a privately owned since five generations uh, distilled spirits company and they have the Grant's blends you may know as well as gin and in modern times also vodka I think and they might have rums and from those casks uh, uh, this whiskey got his aromas. Um, this might be fresh and wet casks as the Scottish uh, say uh, when the whiskey uh, when the rum is, is drained out of the cask uh, and then immediately afterwards the whiskey is filled in, then you, uh, you call it uh, a wet bottling, a, a wet filling, a wet filling. And uh, this, of course, uh, transfers more aromas into the whiskey. Um, <clears throat> I do not like rum at all. There's only one or two rums I ever tasted which were mm, well good. Um, there is a taste in the rum I do not like at all. So uh, be careful when I do not like this whiskey very much. It's my taste. Uh, people who like rum uh, may decide completely different. So <clears throat> specially selected Balvini finished in casks that previously held rum distilled in the Caribbean. The delicate, fresh taste of Caribbean rum enhances the Balvini vanilla notes in the finishing, whilst adding spicy aromatic quantities to the whiskey. So there's this aromatic uh, taste of the rum as well as the oak wood in which the rum matured. Um, <laughs> the Balvini distillery remains totally dedicated to the traditions, care and craftsmanship of malt whiskey making has been owned and managed by the same independent family company for five generations. It's established 1892 
and Glenn Fittich started on Christmas Eve 1888 or 1889, I think. I don't know, I remember exactly. So this distillery was built uh, shortly afterwards. Uh, nowhere else you will find a distillery that still grows its own barley, that still malts in its own traditional frau maltings, that still has coopers to tend all the casks and a coppersmith to tend the stills. Yes, I visited the Balvini distillery and saw all that. But I doubt if uh, the complete amount of barley is produced on site. Therefore, the or for this, the malting floors aren't big enough. The output of Balvini is already big. Yeah. From this distillery comes Caribbean cask characterized by toffee, vanilla, and a hint of fruit. Mm, fruity. So a hint of fruit. Might be more. <sighs> Toffee and vanilla. Very pre present in the nose. And then an aromatic rum load in the back. Whoa, no. The vanilla is strong and the fruit isn't that present, it's covered in the back. The rum is, is there but not too strong, so it still disturbs me. And the, the sweet toffee isn't able to cover it completely. There's the rum, a strong taste of rum. Very aromatic in the back. Oh, some cacao, cacao, Caribbean cacao, or is it an African one? I can't distinguish between those two. It's a, a, a little, little bitterness coming up. Might also come from the, the oak wood in which the rum matured. It's a very strong whiskey. For this 43 ABV, it's really strong. It covers your whole mouth. And the rum is still there. The cacao is there. And uh, an oakiness appears. Yeah, it's very complex, very aromatic but not my favorite, I'm sorry. Thank you for watching and please stay tuned with whiskey.com.